Metro Detroit is home to vibrant Israeli and Palestinian communities. And 7 Action News reporter Ruta Olsenida has more on what people at home are saying about what's going on. According to 2020 census data, there are about 175,000 Palestinians living in the United States and about 190,000 Israelis. But the Metro Detroit community is a unique hub of both of these communities and cultures, which makes what is going on overseas that much more devastating to this area. The Metro Detroit area is home not only to, of course, uh, a very thriving uh, Jewish uh, American community, but also uh, a Palestinian uh, American community. Saeed Khan is an associate professor of teaching in Near Eastern Studies at Wayne State. He's an expert to the violence happening in the Middle East right now and worries for both of these communities here locally, their history long and complex. But tensions, uh, emotions and passions run extremely high. On Saturday, the Hamas launched a surprise attack on Israel by land, air and sea, killing hundreds of civilians on the Jewish holiday of Shabbat. There's no playbook. There's no we've done this before. This is a they are now surviving the worst terrorist attack. Stephen Ingber is the CEO of the Jewish Federation of Metro Detroit. He was actually near where the attack happened in Israel just weeks ago and says he is just thankful to be home and alive. And we've been working with our team there on the ground, uh, family, friends, other Detroiters who are in Israel, making sure that they are OK, that they have what they need at this time. But the Metro Detroit Palestinian community says this is the culmination of 75 years of human rights violations on Palestine by the Israeli government, and now it's clearly boiling over. Palestinians have been driven to desperation by decades of oppression. Hawaida Araf is a Palestinian American activist. She often travels to Palestine to help the families affected with her organization, International Solidarity Movement. I was seeing massive abuses of human rights every day, homes being demolished, um, people being arrested and, and not charged, children being dragged from their homes uh, in the middle of the night. Her parents are still in Palestine now, and all she can do is uplift the Palestinian community here in Metro Detroit as war rages on. My heart aches every day for what's happening there. And the death toll only continues to rise in both Israel and Palestine as the Metro Detroit community, who has links to both of these areas, are left picking up the pieces. I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Rudy.